Sunday morning. We get in here early, man, for NFL, all that kickoff. Hey, man, make sure y'all like and share. And turn on the YouTube notifications. Um, take the video. Put in your football group or something for us. Oh, y'all got these text groups where y'all can talk about bad information y'all giving out each other. Take the video and put it in there, too. You know what I'm saying? Validate it a little bit. Help us out. So check me out. I see him here by myself. Boy, X on vacation. I don't know. He's somewhere. Winter spring, waterfalls. No more X. Man, I want to talk about Cam Harris. And y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about Cam Harris and the situation with Cam Harris. Um, we saw a little frustration out of him. We saw a little... He put out a tweet. What the tweet said, T? He said something like, uh, they try me. Yeah. And you know what that means, boy. When we start getting emotional, black men, we start getting emotional, boy. The first thing you want to say, man, try me, dog. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the downfall of a lot of black men. <laughs> a lot of black men in the grave, boy, 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 try me, man. Yeah. Certain stuff, we just got to get out of the community. Do you feel like they trying me? I feel like, um, Cam, Cam, okay, so let's go all the way back to when spring started, I mean, when it started. Cam came to the podium, Cam looked ready. He was talking like he was a leader. He was talking like he was ready to take the reins of the team. Um, he looked ready. They say he put on some weight. He's been working hard in the weight room. He's doing everything right, right? Mm -hmm. The season starts and he has two great games. Okay, so UAB and Louisville. All right, so that's like playing crop. <laughs> and like, this is some bad defense. They're not the strongest defenses, right? You know what I'm saying? But he started off strong. And you look at his, you look at his, his, his stats. As of now, 66 carries, he averaged five yards a carry, 346 yards up until now. He has two young kids behind him with a lot of potential. Big time backs coming out, coming out of high school. But they also have. Eight years of eligibility in football left in front of them. Uh, exaggerate, but they got, they're young and they got an extra year because this year you can just come back next year. Um, and they're splitting carries with Cam. Cam has no time left. This is Cam, right? He can come back. He can come back. Oh, yeah. You just saying, yeah. Yeah, he can. Well, Cam could come back like everybody else could come back. But. His time is short. He's put his time in. He's done everything he had to do. Even Cheney said Cam was a leader to him. When Cheney first first press conference, he came out and said, man, Cam has been awesome, man. He's the leader of the backs, man. He's one of the leaders on the team. I think he probably feels he should, he should get fed the ball and get warmed up and get going. And why? These young bucks getting these carries would be is is it's, it's probably confusing. Or well, maybe maybe, pressure, maybe huh? he's just a competitor. Maybe, maybe well, don't yeah. watch the time. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because um, you know, Najee tells me stories about how him and Ezra and James Jackson was cool. They were they were they were, they were, they were homies. But Ezra was a year ahead of them. Well, he was ahead of them. I'm not even getting to the years and stuff. Ezra was ahead of them. He was on his way out. And he felt that last year, feed me the same thing. It's the same situation. Hey, boy, um, Sanji, you're going to feed me, right? You know what I'm saying? You're going to feed me the ball, right? And now they says, I think the breakdown was something like, Edge will get two quarters, and then Jackson will get a quarter, and then Najee will get a quarter, something like that. He said, but they all will perform. And Ezra James got kind of salty because he's like, man, it's my last year. Let me get on the ball here. Feed me the ball because I know I'm going to the league. He do that time. It's the same thing. And that's what Solomon, he said Solomon just broke down to him that, uh, first of all, I ain't going to run you dead. I ain't going to Ricky Williams you dead. So what's the other back came out of Texas? <laughs> I'm not going to run you dead in college and then have you nothing in the pros. Uh, that, was, that was solid the first thing to him. And, and a lot of times kids don't understand it. They think they're invisible until something goes wrong. So, so once he broke that down to him, because it's a production thing. It's sort of like if you get three carries, you get five carries, how productive is that? It's the same thing uh, Kentucky basketball coach sells to all those five stars that come in there. Listen, man, you come in here, you play, the NBA looks at production. 
You're on the field, you're on the court for seven minutes. How productive were you in those seven minutes? That sort of thing like that. Your goal is to get to the league, not to die in college. Mm. So, so I, I think he feels, I, I think he do feel that there, I think he do feel that he, he should get more. It's the same situation like any kid would feel. Um, but you just gotta produce. You gotta produce in those carries and those catches that you get. Yeah. Um, we've never seen frustration out of Cam uh, since he's been here. No. Um, we, we haven't seen frustration out of Cam um, since he's been here. And I saw it on the sideline. And I don't think he got back in the game, did he? No, I don't think. That's weird. That's weird. Yeah, that's 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 that's, that's weird. That's um, and the, the young boy just ended the game, so I'm not sure what happened on the sideline. Uh, I just heard he was good. He was good. They straight. Um, but what you think, T? I mean, you I, I think this bye week came at a good time. You know that we could work on things and practice, um, or it could go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> the, the freshman could, you know, get better during this time. Heal up, you know, chaining the shoulder. Right. Yeah. I. You think Cam Lee that? Like you think he has? You think he has? Well, I don't even know if he leads this a question. Like you, you think he deserves? He, he deserves more with the way the situation is. Uh, I think he can produce a little bit more with the carries that they do give him. Yeah. He can show us a little bit more. So. I look at the carries and stuff, man. A lot of times when I see, I see, um, back to Najee. Najee goes, goes over film with his son, right? And he's talking, and his son say, tells him what he saw on the play. It's a cool little video. Y'all should check it out on Brandon Dad Report YouTube channel. His son tells him what he saw on the play, and then Najee explains it to his son. And one time he was telling him, listen, right here, this is next level. Like, if you can start breaking through these arm tackles, you, you off and running. But that's next level, you know what I'm saying? That's next level running. You gotta get to that point. And I never look at it like that. When I see a running back get touched in the backfield, right? I always look at it like offensive line. And that's always crossed my mind. I never look at it like, yeah, the great ones, they made it happen. It wasn't really like, you never thought about like, they made it happen. And I, and I never really kind of look at it like, um, yeah, they're gonna block some people, but some people I gotta beat too. Um, I just feel like sometimes when I see Cam get hit, it's, it's not really on him. Like, like he getting caught in the backfield, he getting caught. Like, if he can get his shoulders caught, he get past the line, he gets you production. But I feel like you get caught in the backfield, you get touched in the backfield, you get, I, sometimes I feel like that's on, it's not him. Like maybe he was designer play or, you know, uh, offensive line. Uh, but, but yeah, so so listening to Najee talk, I mean, I I, I guess it is sometimes that you got to do your part sometimes. Um, but I, I I just think that uh, I think listen, we we never talk about the pressure. We never talk about pressure. Can't want to get out of there. I know he do. You know, did his time, and I know how these kids. Do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. He want to get out of there. So it's like, how do you not give me my platform when we get up out of here? And he's feeling the pressure. He, he's, he's a kid. He, 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 he's, he's, he's had his way. I ain't gonna say he's had his way. He's had his ups and downs. But I'm, I'm sure, and I haven't talked to Cam or anything, but I'm sure you feel that pressure of, man, I gotta go. James Cook mom put on a post the other day. First time I ever heard her say anything like, man, listen, we need more, but we can get up out of here, man. She came back. She took it back. Um, she took it back. <laughs> she, she said they're good after the game, but she basically was like, "Listen, my son is a junior. Y'all like, hey, this is my word. Y'all giving freshman carries. My son productive. He had a big game yesterday. Anytime he touched the ball, and it, it's true. It's real. T, there's a game that colleges play, bro. Like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a political game that colleges play, and nobody talks about it. But nobody ever wants to talk about Big Brother. Everybody always want to look at Little Brother, or who we can see. It could be numerous things, man. Um, it could be numerous things. Uh, like, like let's say for instance, we got five minutes, Miami Northwestern, right? We got a Miami Northwestern running back. 
He's a freshman. We got another running back. He's from Georgia. He may be better. But sometimes to keep the Northwestern kids, you run the young Northwestern running back. Right. Or you run the, you know what I'm saying? You run. So you know, so when you send your, so you got listen to the parents. When you send your kid out of state, right? Just understand, a lot of times that state is is what's the word? That state is 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 is, 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 is responsible, not responsible, but Georgia got to look out for Georgia. Loyal. Yeah, they loyal. That state is loyal to their state and their high schools for the most part, and that's how we see it, right? Yeah. Right. So they can't lose Georgia because they want to mess around with. South Dade in, in South Florida. <laughs> They're not gonna lose Georgia over somebody coming out of South Florida. A lot of times, you hear it all the time. Man, they they was giving the, the local the kids. They were giving the local kids like they put them before us. And sometimes it's because you have the local kids, dads and stuff are donors. And sometimes it's just political reasons. You never know who's coming behind that kid from that school, and it's like we're not gonna lose this school. They yeah, never tell you that when they sitting on your couch, man, eating, eating your grits and eggs, man. When they say that, they'll never tell you that. But that's how it is sometimes when you go out of, out, out, out of state. Um, and it's just real, man. You got to push through it, man. If you go watch James Cook, he, he performs. Wasn't James Cook recruit, recruited by a coach? Yeah. That yeah. yeah. What coach he had now? Texas A&M? Texas Yeah, he was. I mean, that happens a lot too, though. Yeah, that, that happens a lot too. The um, person that loved you is gone, now you, you don't have anybody there to vouch for you in the meeting room. It's a lot of politics that go into it. That's why I always, my thing is this. The word of the week is this. I get my kids every other weekend now, and I, throughout the week, and we have a word, every time they come, we have a word. And the word of the week for my kids is was leverage. Creating leverage. And my daughter was like, like black male daddy? I said, no, I'm not black male. You know what I'm saying? Leverage. <laughs> leverage. Send your child to a place where he has leverage. Now, yeah, I know a lot of parents let these let the kids pick. Y'all, y'all let the kids pick uh, their school because y'all don't want to be involved with the process of, hey, you made me go to you made me go play for uh whoever, FIU, and I didn't want to go there, and now, you, so y'all just let them pick, but they don't know any better, man. They're picking things off of, I should be able to go to the um, or I should, I'm on Clemson level. Oh, yeah, I, I ain't, that's how they pick in school. Zero leverage. According to how good your child is. Your child, not, not, not who you have a little journey in your heart, but who you think the journey could be, his potential, his talent, who he is. Some of these kids, zero leverage when they go to college. I always talk about T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, dad sent him to Springs, <laughs> then he sent him to FIU. All the leverage in the world. Play my style, because you got to play my child. And that's how I got to look at it. All that iron sharp and iron and all that stuff a lot of times. What comes with that is competition. That's what comes with that. So, so, so my thing is, my thing is, create leverage, create leverage when you're picking the school, um, so your child has opportunity. That's all it's about. Listen, man, y'all make sure y'all like, share, and like I said, share the video for us. Put it in your, in your text group or your football group or whatever you're in, man. We'll be right back right here at Lawrence Cafe. Let's go take three, motherfucking things, and that's what. Oh shit! Oh shit!